everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kelsey, if you are new. If you are not new, I truly appreciate you coming back. So first of all, I am sitting on my floor in the living room, clearly a different background. Um, it's just really warm in my room. So I came out to the living room because it's just really hot. So this is just like a plain blank wall. But the big thing I really wanted to touch on is my floor is extremely squeaky. Um, so if you hear that when I'm moving around, I promise you it is the floor, okay? Um, but today I thought we could go through like my favorite jeans. So it might seem weird kind of doing this as we're going into the summer months, but I'm in this like weird phase right now where I am enjoying wearing jeans with like tank tops and lighter tops and stuff. My legs don't get as hot as my upper body for whatever reason. So I figured this is like the perfect time to introduce some jeans and honestly my head goes to, well if I like the jeans then I'll probably like the jean shorts. So I don't have any good jean shorts that I like right now that fit me well. So I am going to be going on like a jean short excursion looking for like the perfect pair of jean shorts. But I think that this is a good place to start. So let me let my dog outside because I swear to God that happens every single time. So hold on. Okay. So first of all, I'm pretty much a size eight to 10. I don't weigh myself because I just for my mental health right now as well as I don't measure myself for my mental health right now maybe once I get into a better spot I'll be able to do that but I am an 8 to 10 pretty much a medium and large ish just depend depending on the fit so I will tell you exactly what I have how they fit everything like that so without further ado let's just hop right in okay so first up so let me just clear this up um, I do love Abercrombie jeans. Basically, I have one version that I have three of in like different colors. So we're gonna be talking about those. Um, and obviously they have like a curve love line. So I have some of that as well. We're gonna be talking about both of those. First up today, ankle straight ultra high rise. These are not the curve love, these are just regular. So I did get these in a 30. They do fit me really well. So these are going to be like a Bigger, heavier duty, can take more. These are really good jean quality. So these specifically I like because they are that ankle fit. They don't go all the way down. They hit you right above the ankle. I really like the way that that looks. I do have long legs, so I feel like it just kind of accentuates my legs a little bit. I like the distressed de detailing at the bottom, but not throughout. I do like having obviously different options. These are just a really good pair of ankle jeans. Um, the structure is really nice. I feel like once you put these on, they kind of conform to your body. I will say that with the 30s, um, I do get a little bit of the gaping in the back, but personally, I don't mind. It just kind of feels like I have a little bit more room. Not too tight around the waist at all. It's not one of those where it's gonna be like, you just feel like you're suffocating in your jeans all day. That's what I really like about these. Um, pockets in the front pockets in the back little distressed detailing on the pocket there i am a huge fan they do have these in different colors i believe yeah right now they are on clearance for 60 dollars instead of 89. in the specific one i have which is light they only have a 34 35 36 37 but they do restock they do have sales often so save these and set up your email alerts they also have extra short short regular long and extra long length I get mine in just regular and I am 5'7". That is the first pair of Abercrombie jeans. Okay, so these are the 90s straight ultra high rise. So obviously I like ultra high rise because they do hit me right at my belly button and I really like the way that that looks. These feel like, I don't know, the best way to describe them is I can go work on a horse barn and I feel like these would be fine. These are extremely sturdy, heavy duty. They are just a good, quality go-to pair of jeans nothing crazy um they do they are just like the normal wash we have a zipper closure up front pockets there's no distressing detailing except for like that little bit on the pocket and then this little tiny one that you have going on in front so these are absolutely just like a standard put on good go-to pair of jeans. I like having these for if we are working out in the yard and it's cold or something like that, or if we're, I don't know. I have these where they're, I know my legs are gonna be protected. They do go down, they are straight as they said. So there's not gonna be any like flare, no skinniness, just straight leg. 
and the 30 this is a 30 again just normal no curve love the difference with these is I got these in a 30 for curve love so these are going to be my biggest pair of jeans which I like having a super baggy pair of jeans that I can just throw on when I'm not feeling super confident I can throw on like a tighter tank top and I just really like having the contrast so the previous jeans were a 30 but they were not the curve love so curve love has a little bit more room in the hips and stuff like that so these are going to be baggier on me if you do want a more fitted style I would stay with the 29 if we are kind of similar um, but I just really enjoy switching up my jean collection so I know that these are gonna be like baggy sturdy good jeans next up these are probably my most like different pair of jeans I guess um, they look very normal up top very good standard jean we have the zip up closure these are a size 28 um and it is curve love and i did get the regular as well so these fit me very well the thing that makes them kind of quote unquote different is at the bottom here you have a split which is really cute because i think if you're wearing some cute shoes or anything like that i think it just shows it i really think this is this is just a really cute detailing that's pretty much the only difference with these basic standard jean all the way through a um, little bit it is still pretty straight I would say you're not gonna get too much like curve or anything like that with the leg it is pretty straight and then you do just have this open bottom detailing which if you're wearing like really cute booties or anything I think that would be so cute with these because you want to show your booties right so these are just fun when I want to feel like I'm wearing just basic jeans but a little bit elevated um, I do wear these a lot because I just think it gives them that extra little something something you know okay and now we are getting into the distressed jeans category I love ripped jeans um, I think that they are just I don't know I've always loved ripped jeans I love the distress distress look distressness yeah distress look I love the oversized I love the baggy I dress like a boy so these are awesome these are pretty much just the regular yeah so these are just the 90 straight so all three of these are the 90 straight um, the one that I just talked about with the split is just going to be a curve love and then the original one that I was speaking about the ankle it's gonna be a straight just an ankle so these are straight just exactly the same as the um, one I just spoke about but it has rips in the knees the thing about Abercrombie jeans is once you find a style of theirs that you like say it's the 90s straight curve love ultra high rise low rise whatever it is they have different colors they have different options they have different styles in that same cut of jeans so I obviously really like the 90s straight style so I can stay in there I can see the different colors and I can know exactly how they're gonna fit me because the structure is still exactly the same from jean to jean just different detailing this has the two perfect holes right on the knees and really no other distressing which I really like. Um, I think that having it just be at the knees is super cute. It's just like a little different look. Um, I have stuck my foot through this multiple times and ripped it a little bit more than it was meant to be ripped. Um, so just be aware of that, but I don't mind. I think they're still super cute. Go to all of these jeans that I have, um, they are very comfortable on me and I know that these are going to hold up because Abercrombie quality jeans is really good. I used to buy all of their jeans and shorts and stuff in high school. Um, and then it came back and I was very impressed by the quality of jeans. I know everybody kind of says like Wrangler, Levi's, all those are really good. Honestly, these feel like Wranglers and Levi's. So I am really adoring my Abercrombie jeans a lot. Okay, so these pair, this pair of jeans was a sneaky find. I cannot remember, I think it might have been Amber Lancaster that wore these and then linked them in a story and I loved the way that they looked and I was going to San Diego and I was like, you know what, let me get a good pair of ripped jeans. I really like them. So I bought them. The American Eagle jeans. So these feel completely different than those three jeans that I just spoke about. These are incredibly soft. They almost feel more like a jegging, but not as tight. They still fit like a jean, but they are so soft and movable and like stretchy. Look, so I'm gonna hold this jean up. You see how that structure, it's almost like starchy. 
where it's gonna hold that structure and I can let it go and it's still kind of gonna have that like structure. Whereas this does not have as much structure, you can already tell. So it's going to be a little bit less form fitting on the body, it's gonna move with you a little bit more. I am obsessed with these. The way that these fit my butt, the way that these fit my waist, these are my new favorites. I will say that the Abercrombie jeans are good solid go-tos, but I absolutely want to keep exploring my Abercrombie or American Eagle jeans because these are insane. I am obsessed with these. The detailing on the knees is perfect. I have not stuck my foot through these yet. So we still have the little like frills that are connected, frills that are connected over here as well. And then my favorite part is the rolling at the bottom. Clearly, if these are long enough on you and you like that look, you can definitely leave it. These are just like a smidge short on me, so I roll them at the bottom and I really, really like that look. I think that these jeans are loose enough where you can get that like very disheveled but put together look. I am obsessed with these. These are by far my favorite pair, but I cannot say for other cuts or styles or anything like that yet because obviously I have not tried them, but trust, I will. I wanna try their shorts first, honestly, because of how good these feel and these fit. I wanna go to them for shorts first. 10 out of 10 recommend. Um, if you aren't sure, like I wasn't sure, I got these in an eight just to be safe. They do fit me absolutely perfectly so if you are around my size i would shoot for an eight first unless you want that oversized baggy look go for the 10. i always suggest if you're not sure if you haven't tried it if you have a mall near you stop in just try on a bunch of different styles that way you don't ever have to go back into the store you can just shop online and you know exactly what you're looking for okay so that is all that i have for jeans but I have not spoken about these in any video. I am obsessed with them, and I figured this would be a good time to just kind of pop them in. I have had these for, I wanna say like six months. Um, it is so nice to just have a go-to good pair of trousers. The infamous Abercrombie trousers. I couldn't do like an, a pants Abercrombie talk and not talk about these trousers. I know they're not jeans, but these are so incredibly good. So as you can see, I have them styled with just a crop white tank top and it looks so cute with that. That's probably the way that I would wear it normally with just something like some white Air Force Ones or something. But you can 110% dress these up for work. They are so stretchy. They are so comfortable. There is elastic in the back. So it is going to fit you a little bit better. It's not just like a complete trouser around. Um, that was my biggest concern. So I did get a large in these and truthfully, I probably should have gotten a medium just because I thought that the waistband was going to be like a trouser waistband, not an elastic in the back. But I really do like the oversized fit of these. I, like I said, I'm just a baggy girl and I am obsessed with these. Whew, I just choked. Um, they do have pockets in the front, which huge, huge benefit. In the back, they do have the fake pockets. So there is actually no pocket. It is just a seam on the inside and that is what it looks like on the outside. These are so incredible. I recommend them to everyone. If you are not like a dress girl, cause I'm not a huge dress girl, having these has been a total game changer because I know for a fact that I can dress these up and it will still look nice. I can also dress these down and have it look really casual. Okay, so that is my favorite jeans, go-to jeans, how those fit me, everything like that. If you do have any questions about any specific styles that I talked about, any other questions that maybe I didn't touch on, please leave them in the comments below. If you like this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and I will see you guys in my next video.